Today I am going to tell you about 14 books that are perfect for fall. Whether you're looking for something spooky, something cosy, or something that just feels like autumn. Let's dive in. Hi, hey, hello. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about 14 books that are just perfect for the fall time of year. So, as the days get shorter and cooler, I don't know about you, but I just want to curl up with a good book. There's just something about fall that just feels extra magical. First up, we have cozy fiction. Books that are just perfect for those crisp autumn evenings when you just want to snuggle up with a blanket. Book number one I have is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This one is like stepping into a dream. The rich, atmospheric writing just makes it perfect for fall. It's the story of a magical competition set within a mysterious circus, which is both enchanting and dark. Book number two is The Secret History by Donna Tartt, a classic dark academia novel. Perfect for fall. The chilling atmosphere and themes of obsession, murder and morality make it an unforgettable read. Book number three is Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. This story of witches, family and love is just the perfect mix of magic and warm. It's like a hug in book form. Next we're diving into some spine chilling reads. These books will definitely give you the autumn chills. Book number four is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. A gothic classic. The haunting atmosphere of Mandalay and Rebecca will keep you on edge. Book number five is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Set in a decaying mansion in 1950s Mexico, this one is both creepy and stylish. It's got all the gothic vibes you could want. Book number six is The Haunting of Hell House by Shirley Jackson. An absolute must read for spooky season. Jackson's tale of a haunted house is both terrifying and psychologically complex. Book number seven is Coraline by Neil Gaiman. A creepy tale for all ages. Coraline's adventures in a parallel world is full of strange and unsettling surprises. If you're looking for something a bit more fantastical to escape into this fall, then these next books are for you. Book number eight is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. A dark fairy tale with a lush forested setting. It's got magic, danger, and a heroine you will root for. Book number nine is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. This novel draws heavily on Russian folklore and is set in the wintry wilderness, making it the perfect read as the weather turns cold. Book number 10 is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clarke. Set in an alternate version of 19th century England, this tale of magic and mystery is slow burning and richly detailed, ideal for long fall nights. Book number 11 is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Venture into the dark hidden world beneath London. Gaiman's urban fantasy is both eerie and fantastical. Perfect for autumn. Book number 12 is Piranesi by Susanna Clarke. This one is more of a puzzle box than a straightforward fantasy. The labyrinthine setting and sense of wonder makes it a perfect read for fall. Finally, here are some literary fiction picks with a darker twist. Perfect for those who love a thought-provoking read. Book number 13 is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. A timeless classic. Shelley's exploration of creation, responsibility, and monstrosity is as relevant as ever. Book number 14, Dracula by Bram Stoker. I could not leave out the ultimate vampire novel. Stoker's Dracula is atmospheric and haunting and a perfect read for fall. And there you have it, 14 books that are just 
perfect for fall. Whether you're in the mood for something spooky or cozy or something that will transport you into another world, I hope you find some new reads to add to your TBR. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these or if there's a book you think I missed on this list. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you can know whenever I upload next. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Oh, bye-bye.